So a 5-0 start here in the third quarter. For the Martins, all by Juwan Malone. And Diaz now stripped by Tobias Holmes. Here come the Martins. Chance to once again get it back to single digits. Riles, three, bang! It's an eight-point ball game. And it's an eight-nothing run. Here's Felder down the lane. Lost the handle, gets it back. Diaz, a lot of contact there. Officials letting them play. Here's Felder, lets it go. Big shot for Felder. They needed that one to stop the bleeding there, and they got it. Big three for Felder. And it's back to an 11-point ball game. Just what the doctor ordered for the Herkimer Originals. Here's Spotswood, finds Riles back-to-back. -back. No, off the mark, he knew it right away. Here's Felder. Felder down the lane, Spotswood with the block. Here come the Martins. Down the lane, Malone, Spotswood cleans it up. And it's a nine point ball game at 38, uh, 58, excuse me, 49. Big three on the way, no good, Golombowski, rebound by Riles. As I mentioned earlier, Martins lost all four meetings last year between the two teams, none of them by more than nine points. Spotswood had a good look, just wouldn't go down. Here's Burton, help for Golombowski down the lane, up and good. Big fella against big fella, and David Golombowski wins that battle. 60-49, the originals, the 11 point advantage. Here's Malone. Martins came out, fired up. In the third quarter, Originals trying to weather the storm. Spotswood couldn't get it to go. The rebound by Gregory. The outlet for Felder. Originals will set the offense. They'll go down low for Gregory. A lot of contact, no call, and Gregory up off the glass and good. 62-49. Tobias Holmes finds Gilmore, a little toss and catch. Three ball on the way, good! Jawan Malone has come out on fire. Burton tries to answer at the other end. Malone has eight points here in the quarter. Wanted to find Spotswood, the kicking violation. And quickly we get to the media timeout with the fast and furious start to this third quarter. 7.51 to go in the quarter. It is Herkimer 62, Bennington 52 on the Bennington Martins Broadcast Network and the ABA Network. Back here in Bennington, the Martins got it down to eight at one point here in the third. They came out hot. Eight points so far in the quarter for Jawan Malone. And right now it's a 10-point game. It's 62-52 at the first media timeout. On the baseline, Spotswood. Errant pass there. Diaz, nice ball movement. Gregory off the feed from Felder. Nice textbook execution on the break right there by the Originals. 
Here's Riles off the glass and good. The quick response from John Riles. Martins need to come up with another run here. Gregory, nice job. Gets the ball in the post, makes the nice move around Riles. Gilmore, Riles, Spotswood, good ball movement. Malone! Jawan Malone, the Brooklyn, New York native, rookie out of SUNY Cobble still. Ten points here in the third quarter. Gregory, and a whistle and a foul. Gregory doing a fine job down the low post. That's the third foul on Riles. Josh Gregory out of SUNY Poly. Makes the first one. Saw SUNY Poly play a few times back in my days with the Castleton University Spartans. Played non-conference games up at Castleton several years ago. Gregory matching the scoring prowess of Juwan Malone here in this third quarter as he's been carrying the load of the offense for Herkimer. Kilmore is going to try it straight away from three off the mark, but Spotswood is there, couldn't get it to go. The rebound by Felder. Squandered opportunities right there for the Martins. Here's Felder. Burton. Gregory. No good. Spotswood with the rebound. Gilmore over to and counted Spotswood, I was going to say. Holmes with the long three. Wanted to see what was going to happen on the rebound. Todd Spotswood with the rebound, the hoop, and the harm, and he'll go to the line looking for the three-point play. The foul is on Gregory. And the originals with a whole new unit coming on. Evans is coming on. Leggett, Baldwin, Fraggle, and Welch. Whole new five hitting the floor for Herkimer. And the Martins are going to go big. Both the guys that have started at center the last couple games. Spotswood and DeMonte White both on the floor together trying to counter some of that size advantage of the originals. But right when that happens, the original substitute as well. Here's Leggett. Now Baldwin left alone. 15-footer good. They just backed away from Bob and let him have a wide open look. Seventy fifty eight. Herkimer. They wanted to go on the alley oop to Riles. Riles gets it back. No good. Battle for the rebound. Welch has it. They're going to foul him. Welch is a big guy, six foot ten, out of Cumberland's College. Here's a turnover. Malone, wide open, slam! Jawan Malone, lighting it up here in the quarter, and the three and D light was on. They'll get three points for that. It's back to single digits. It's 70-61, and Malone has 13 points in the quarter. Dangerous pass there, tipped away. That should have been Martin's ball, I thought. That should have been Martin's ball. Officials missed it. Ball went to the hoop, feeds Leggett. Up and good. 72 61-73-61. as the three and D light was on there, so they get three points for that bucket. So just when the Martins had cut it to nine, quickly it's back up to 12 with that three and D. Malone, no good, Riles mishandled the rebound. Here's White, baseline jumper, good. Damonte White with the 10 footer. 
and don't know why there was a stoppage of play. I think there might have been trouble with the shot clock. Riles is going to get a breather, and Terrence Squire is back on the floor. Square shooting guard out of New Bern, New York, Schenectady Community College. Welch, nice cut by Evans, nice find by Welch. Nice back screen execution there for the originals. 12 point ball game coming up on four minutes to go here in the third. Spotswood and Welch. Two big guys banging down in the paint. And Evans lost it out of bounds. They're going to say it's Martin's basketball. Three and D light is on. So a chance to get three or four points here for the Martins. Demonte White, no good. Off the back iron. Fraggle with the rebound. Leggett lost the handle. Here's Squire. Finds Tobias Holmes. Stripped by Baldwin. What great hustle by, actually it wasn't Baldwin, it was Fraggle. Leggett at the other end, no good. The rebound by Anthony Mitch, or excuse me, uh, Malone. Juwan Malone. Here's Squire. Three, no good. Spotswood, great position inside. Couldn't get it to go. Tamonte White, I think Welch got a piece of it. White working hard on the glass. Second, third, fourth effort. Demonte White gets the bucket. It's a 10-point ball game. Shot up and no good. But drawing the foul there is Evans. And Javon Evans is going to go to the line. And we're going to have a media timeout. 3.22 to go here in the third quarter. It is Herkimer 75, Bennington 65. This is the Bennington Martins and ABA Broadcast Network. I just went like that, and I thought I pulled it out. Welcome back to the Mount Anthony Middle School here in Bennington. Ten-point ball game. Javad Evans at the line here. Elijah Nesbitt on the broadcast. Hey, Elijah, how you doing? New daddy. Hope everybody's doing good. Hope you're getting some sleep, buddy. <laughs> I don't even have young kids in the house, and I don't get any sleep, so you're probably doing better than I am. <laughs> Congratulations. Can't wait to have you back on the floor. One out of two for Evans, but they throw it away. Three and D lights on. Big chance here for the originals, and they take advantage of it with Leggett with the layup. A big turnaround right there after Evans missed the free throw. And they get the four points. The three points. Shot up and good by Squire. Josh Gonzalez getting ready to check in. Josh was my guest on the Martins pregame show today. 
Jumper on the way for three, no good by Baldwin. Here's Evans after the Originals collected the rebound. High screen and roll. Evans and Welch blocked by Spotswood. Here comes Malone. Finds, oh, they're gonna call blocking foul. First he called offense, now he calls block as Tobias Holmes goes to the bucket. Well, that's a good way to get yourself in trouble if you're an official. <laughs> Start to call offensive and then call a block. If it means anything, it was. If it means anything, but it probably does it to Herkimer right now. But it was a block. <laughs> After all that, not being biased, even it, it was the right call. It clearly, was a blocking foul. Gets it down to a 10-point game. Josh Gonzalez is checked in. Tobias can't complete the three-point play. Welch with the rebound. Here's Evans. Finds Fraggle up top for Baldwin. Finds Welch. High post. He looks to back Spotswood down. The help comes from Squire, and the help paid off. Here's Holmes. Squire lost the handle. Baldwin's got it. Got Fraggle with him. Fraggle ahead of the pack. Up and good. Costly turnover at an inopportune time there for the Martins. They were down 10. Could have cut it to 7 or 8 and turned the ball over. Wasted trip. Here's Holmes down low. Kick it out. Squire on the way. Three good. Terrence Squire, we said yesterday what a big impact he had off the bench. Here's Leggett. Left alone, drives the baseline. Minute and a half to go here in the third quarter. It's an 11-point ball game, 83-72. Malone for three. 16 and a quarter for Jawan Malone out of SUNY Cobleskill via the Bronx. Here's Fraggle, up off the glass, no good. Fraggle finds Welch, what a nice play. Beautiful play. I said the Bronx, I should have said Brooklyn there for Malone. Right city, wrong borough. <laughs> 10 point ball game. Had it down to eight after that big hit from Malone. Spotswood, Welch, anytime they battle their gym shakes here. Here's Leggett, Squires hit his foot. Squire stripped it and hit the foot of Leggett. Three and D-Light. Could be a big possession. And, hey, Elijah says it's going great. Appreciate it. He'll be back this week. All right, good to hear, man. Get some sleep. Be ready to go. Squire for three. He's on fire. Terrence Squire. He shot the ball well yesterday, and the three and D-Light was on. That was huge. Down to a six-point game. And down the lane, Fraggle answers. That was a big shot by Squire with the three and D light on. Ended up being a four-point play. Anthony Mitchell's checked in. Here's Squire again. He's feeling it. Off the mark. Rebound by Leggett. A lot of contact. No call. Baldwin at the buzzer. No good. And that's the end. I should say Malone, not Baldwin. Baldwin for Herkimer. But it was uh, Juwan Malone. But anyway, that's going to do it for the quarter. A good turnaround here. Cutting it at one point to as close as six after being down by as much as 20. And that quick start for the Martins has turned this game into a ball game. Head to the fourth quarter. It is Herkimer 87. And... The Martins, 79. This is Bennington Martins and ABA Broadcast Network.
Back here in Bennington, we go to the fourth quarter, 87-79. A big run to start the third for the Martins. Got them back in the ball game. And unofficially, Juwan Malone with 16 points in the third quarter. A Brooklyn, New York native. Played at SUNY Cobleskill. Very good program there. And here's a turnover right off the inbounds. Mitchell. Three ball on the way, no good. Spotswood, the rebound, lost the handle. Malone out for Squire. Squire, three, halfway down and out. Mitchell couldn't get it to go. Here's Malone, he'll try it from three, no good. Got their chances here for sure. Anthony Mitchell, nice job, up and good. It's back to a six point ball game. Felder, Golombowski. Welch, they go with Welch and Golombowski. Big lineup here. Heath Mason has checked in here for the Martins for the first time. It's a big lineup here for the Originals with Welch, Golombowski, and Gregory on the floor with Burton and Felder in the backcourt. Here's Golombowski banging down low with spots. The finger roll, no good. Here's Mitchell. Anthony Mitchell down the lane. Got fouled and it's gonna go! Count the basket! And it's a four point ball game with a chance to make it three. Anthony Mitchell giving this team a spark off the bench. Mitchell out of the Bronx at Sage College. Couldn't get it to go. Welch the rebound. Huge lineup on the floor for the originals. See how that pans out. Here's Welch. No good. The rebound by Spotswood. Four point ball game. Just under 11 minutes to go. Squires. Three. No good. Crowd wanted to see that one go down. You could feel the anticipation. Golombowski, here's a turnover. Mason, layup good. Heath Mason from Terrence Square, and it's a two-point game. Burton for three, no good. Mason the rebound. Here's Mitchell inside Spotswood. Recollects himself. Couldn't get the shot to go. Golombowski, pace with this big lineup on the floor hurting the originals right now. Too quick a pace for the size they've got. Here's Welch, had a strip by Squire. Squire's been huge here. Held ball, possession arrow favors the Martins. 87-85, Herkimer, 9.54 to go here in the ball game. Jawan Malone came out on fire in that third quarter and got the Martins back in this ball game. And now Terrence Squires has played a major role off the bench. Only two starters on the floor right now for the Martins and they're getting it done. Here's Mason, got tied up, finds Mitchell, had it stripped, and at last touch Mitchell, it's gonna be Herkimer basketball. The second unit has really been getting it done here. Down the stretch. Diaz, no good for three. Spotswood, one of the two starters on the floor, along with Malone. And a wild pass there, but last touch by Herkimer. It's going to be Martin's ball right at midcourt. DeMonte White getting ready to check in. He's going to give Todd Spotswood a breather. Two-point ball game. Just over nine minutes to play. Malone, Mitchell. Squires has had the high hand. He'll let it go for three. No good. Long rebound comes out to Burton. Here's Felder. Diaz lets it go for three. Off the mark. Again, the Martins with a chance to tie or take the lead. Mitchell finds Mason. Jumper good. Elbow jumper from Heath Mason. It's a tie ball game at 87. Yeah. 
As I said, this bench unit has done really well here. Many contributors here in the second half. Here's Felder. Eight on the shot clock. Felder from downtown. Cool ice water in the veins of Felder. A big three right there, and it's 90-87. Here's Mason. Baseline jumper, no good. Battle for the rebound, pulled down by Golombowski. Here's Diaz. And a whistle out front. They're going to wave it off. It's going to be on the floor. If you're sitting home going, i got to come out and watch this, make sure you get down here next Sunday when the Martins are back at home. This is exciting action. Golombowski couldn't go. Gregory the follow. Didn't get uh, Gregory boxed out on the backside. And a little 5-0 run since the Martins tied it for Herkimer. Spotswood getting ready to come back on after a quick breather. Here's Squire. He's played outstanding here in the second half. Malone as well. Short on that one. Tipped around. Pulled down by Felder. Gregory. To the bucket. Count it. And it's good. Give Herkimer credit as they have gone on a good response here after the tie by the Martins. A 7-0 run. Fouls on DeMonte White. Give credit to the Herkimer Originals as they responded to the Martins coming back to tie it with a 7-0 run. There's a media timeout. Herkimer 94, Bennington 87. This is the Bennington Martins and ABA Broadcast Network. So back here in Bennington after the timeout. 7.43 to go in the ball game. The Martins tied it at 87. But then a 7-0 run right now for the Originals. And on the foul line is Josh Gregory trying to make it an 8-0 run. Martins will hit the road next Saturday. And then be back home on Sunday to take on the New Jersey Knights right here in Bennington at the middle school, Mount Anthony Union Middle School. 3 p.m. tip-off. Come out and join us. So it's an 8-0 run for the Originals. Riles is back in, and here's a steal. Felder. It's Squire, Mitchell, Baldwin, Spotswood, Riles on the floor for the Martins. Golombowski down the lane. It's a 10-0 run. The Martins tied it at 87, and now it's 97-87. Here's Squire, and they're going to call the holding foul on Felder. It's going to be taken out on the side right in front of us here. Squire will put it in play. Comes in for Anthony Mitchell. Here's Jawan Malone. Jumper on the way from Malone. Good. He has had a huge second half here for the Martins. Back to a seven-point ball game. Do they have another run left in them here? Gregory defended by Mitchell. Spins. Mitchell stripped it away. It goes to Diaz, though. Diaz no good. Short on the baseline jumper. Here's Mitchell. Down the lane. No good. 
Squire had the rebound, dishes it over to Riles. Riles with the layup, it's a five point game. 5-0 run here for the Martins after the 10-0 run by the Originals. Felder down the lane. He's going to stop the run right now. Says enough of this. Strong move by Felder. Coming up on six minutes to go. 99-92. Tobias Holmes after a nice long breather getting ready to come back in. Here's Mitchell on the way for three. No good. Kalimbowski with the rebound. Here's Felder. Felder been taking things into his own hands here in the fourth quarter. Gregory spots up from the baseline. No good. Riles. Every trip crucial right here for the Martins. Here's Mitchell. Riles. Baldwin. He's had the high hand. He continues to have the high hand. Right, why did I say Baldwin again? Malone. I don't know why I keep saying that. Other than they have a Baldwin on the other side that's same number. <laughs> I guess explains it a little bit. Here's Diaz. Jawan Malone been on fire. Diaz whistling a foul. Jawan Malone. He's got over 20. He had 16 at one point in the half. I lost track. Fouls on Riles. Tobias Holmes back in. Replacing Anthony Mitchell. Looks like also getting ready to come back in is Cameron Thomas. Lost the handle on it on the way up. Did Evans. Or Leggett. Might have been Leggett. Ninety nine ninety five five oh two to go. It's Baldwin, Squire, Cameron Thomas, Spotswood, and Tobias Holmes on the floor for the Martins. Here's Spotswood. Squire, baseline jumper, no good. Spotswood battles for the rebound, still lose. Up and good. What a half. What a half. Don't want to miss the play here at the other end. Leggett up and good. Juwan Malone has had a huge half here for the Martins. Four-point ball game. Spotswood. Cam Thomas had it stripped, and it went off the foot of Javon Evans. Square is going to go out and back on as Tyjon Gilmore. Spotswood, baseline jumper, no good. And the rebound by Golombowski. Coming up on four minutes to play, 101-97. And a turnover. Here's Gilmore. Tobias Holmes up top, Gilmore. Malone, three, no good. Holmes runs it down, tried to knock it off of Javon Evans, but Evans ends up with the basketball. Four-point ball game. We've gone under four minutes remaining. Fraggle. Blocked. And no good. Spots with the rebound as Golombowski's shot was partially blocked there. Here's Tobias. Tobias Holmes, cross-court. Tyjon Gilmore. Spotswood, high post, wanted to go down low for Mitchell to pass off the mark, or Cameron Thomas, I should say. And there's a timeout on the floor. It's a media timeout, 3.18 to go in the ballgame. It is Herkimer 101, Bennington 97 on the Bennington Martin and ABA Broadcast Network.
Welcome back to the Mount Anthony Union Middle School in Bennington, Vermont. 318 to go. ABA basketball. Bennington Martins trailing by four here against the Herkimer Originals. And it's been quite a comeback here for the Martins. Twice they've had to answer the call and come back into this one. Golombowski lets it go for three straight on. No good. Rebound Kilmore. Tobias Holmes. Tobias down the lane. The whistle, the foul. He's going to go to the line. They're going to say it's on the floor or no? No, they're going to say he's shooting. That's the right call. No, they're not. They're going to say, oh, one official says they're shooting. One's confused and turns out it's going to be a shooting foul. Golombowski is going to come out. Welch is going to check back in for the originals. Three minutes exactly to go. Holmes gets the first one. Hope you're entertained, folks. It's been quite a ball game here. Martins were down by about 20, came flying back. Got down by 10 after a 10-0 run by the Originals. Now it's a three-point game. Under three minutes to play as Holmes got one out of two and a whistle and a foul. That's going to be on Malone. Got his feet tied up with Baldwin. Not a shooting foul. Fourth foul on Juwan Malone. Cameron Thomas is going to go out, as is Tyjon Gilmore. Terrence Squire, John Riles back on the floor for the Martins. 101-98, 251 to go. Here's Gregory. Gregory looks to back down Riles. Squire comes to help. Ball went on the way for three. No good. Javon Evans, the rebound out to Gregory. No good. The rebound pulled down by Malone. Lost the handle on it. Good hustle. Gets it back. Here's Riles. And the foul on Gregory. Here's say it's on the floor. This is the opener of the season for Herkimer. I believe they did not play yesterday, if I'm looking at their schedule right. A three-point ball game. Martin's looking to beat the Originals for the first time in the franchise history. Squire, three, no good. Rebound pulled down by Welch. Martins went 0-4 against Herkimer in their inaugural season a year ago, all by nine points or less, all good ball games. Down the lane, shot no good. Welch, and Spotswood's going to be called for the foul after the miss by Felder. Fouls on Todd Spotswood. And it's Matt Welch on the line for Herkimer. Welch short on the first one. Welch, six foot ten out of Cumberland's College. And one out of two for Welch. It's a four-point ball game. And the Martins, that's costly. That's the kind of stuff they can't do in this situation. They throw the ball away. It's a three and D. So this could be really costly if the Originals can get the bonus point. Could get four points with a three-pointer. Here's Gregory. Spins. Step through. Good. So Gregory gets three points for that with the three and D. That makes a seven-point ball game. That was a costly turnover. Here's Spotwood. Holmes straight on three. Tobias Holmes. And it's a four-point game. That's the shot they needed. They needed it quick, and they needed a big shot, and Tobias Holmes got it. Here's Felder. Baldwin gets a high screen from Welch. Baldwin, a lot of room, and he buries it. You give Baldwin that much room, he's going to knock it down. We've seen that multiple times today. 
Here's Holmes down the lane, had it stripped from behind. Baldwin finds Felder, no good. Rebound comes out to Tobias Holmes, a minute to go in the ball game. Seven point ball game, three and D here for the originals. They could get the dagger right here with the three and D light on and a seven point lead. They're gonna isolate for Felder against Spotswood, he got it. So that's gonna be a three point play with the three and D light on and that might do it. It's a 10 point ball game with 40 seconds to go. Riles goes for the dunk, lost the handle on the way up. Felder got a man down at the other end. Gregory with the bucket, they're gonna stop play as Welch is still down as he and Riles. Good sportsmanship by Riles, helping him up, but it's a 12 point ball game now. The originals finishing off strong here. Welch appears to be okay, just shaking up. As I said, good sportsmanship as both Todd Spotswood and John Riles went over and helped him up. Always late to see that. It's been an entertaining game for you folks. Glad to have you along with us. Get out here to Mount Anthony Middle School and check out the Martins if you have it. They'll be home next Sunday as New Jersey comes in, the New Jersey Knights, for a 3 p.m. tip-off. Martins will go on the road on Saturday and then be back at home on Sunday for the 3 p.m. tip-off against New Jersey. They tied this game at 87, a 10-0 run by Herkimer. Made it a 97-87 ball game. Martins came back to get within three, but now a late run here by the Originals. The biggest play coming on that three and D play just a bit ago, which got it up to a 10-point ball game when it was seven. Three and D lay on, and they got a bucket to get three points. So when the 3 and D light comes on with a turnover, then it is a bonus point situation. A three-pointer becomes four. A two-pointer becomes three. Makes it real fun and exciting for sure. That 3 and D light with the bonus points. So 27.2 to go. The Originals in control now after a battle here against Bennington. The Martins look like they're going to drop their fifth straight here to Herkimer. And drop to one and one this season. Here's Anthony Mitchell who's in. Riles, two-hand slam. It's a 10-point game, but they can dribble it out from here. And Baldwin looks to do that, although he lost it off his foot. So the Martins will possibly get a chance at another bucket. They're just going to hold it and let the clock run out. And that's going to do it. The Martins battled hard. But Herkimer is going to come in here and open their season with a hard-fought road win over the Bennington Martins by a score of 113 to 103. Herkimer is 1-0, and the Martins will fall to 1-1 one one after beating the Bridgeport Kings here yesterday. The Martins go on the road next Saturday and then come back home next Sunday right here to the Mount Anthony Union Middle School. A 3 p.m. tip-off against the New Jersey Knights. Hope to see everybody out here catching the Bennington Martins in person next Sunday afternoon. Once again, our final score, the Herkimer Originals 113, the Bennington Martins 103. Thanks for joining us. That's going to do it from Mount Anthony Union High School. This has been the Bennington Martins Broadcast at ABA Broadcast Network.